setting. That's awesome. Very good. Nothing better than that. All right, Mr. Godwin, uh, can you uh, Heavy? check out this Hold shield on. for me, please, sir? His stream is resetting. Yeah, it reset somehow, so whatever. Let's just uh, continue. Shouldn't we wait? Yeah, let's wait. That's it's uh it's back up. Oh well, then we can continue. We can continue. Sure, if I may. Hey, uh, can we continue? continue? Sorry about yeah, that, guys. You, it, uh, look at this shield for me, please, sir. Uh, it just reset. It does that every once in a blue moon, so it it just did it. Hopefully, that'll be the only time. The shield. Yes. How much would it cost me to get this identified, sir? Where did you get the shield? Uh, speaking out of character here, where did you get it? It was in the mimic. When when we first got it, it had a shield in it, and we traded his old shield for the new shield. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that was just uh, of better quality, basically. It didn't have any, any magical properties or anything like that. Very good. Sounds like a good it was just a more of a uh, more purdy looking shield. Masterwork. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Can you, can you um, Alzine, would you like to uh, try to purchase a weapon from this gentleman? Nope. I got what I need already. All right. You can Could I see your hammers and flails in the magical property section, please? Hey, he breaks out his his Walmart catalog, and then he turns his computer screen around and <laughs> says, please do a search for the item that you're looking for, and we'll look through all the different 4th edition books and <laughs> see what it's you need. Magical, <clears throat> magical window. All right, basically this is how it goes. 4th edition is all about magic items. If you guys want, an, if you guys want a magic item, I don't mind if you guys buy it. Again? Uh, I don't... No, it didn't, didn't reset. No, I think David might have reset. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't reset it or anything. So it's still. It hasn't. I've been paying attention to it. It hasn't reset or anything. So. Oh, awesome! Now I fucking connected, disconnected. This is fucking getting ridiculous. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating as shit. Now my team speed goes down. Awesome. Connected. Channel switch. So did anyone else dis uh, disconnect, or was that just me? Only just you. you. Just, okay. just that's, you. That's all I need to know. All right. So hopefully uh, I can continue without this shit going on. So, like I was saying, fourth edition is very ma magic item heavy, and if you guys want a magic item, I I don't care. You guys can buy it. It, it depends on there. There's a couple factors that are involved here. If you're in a major town like Water uh, Waterdeep, Neverwinter, something like that, Screaming Creek, uh, you're going to be able to find just about anything you want. Uh, now, when you're in a smaller town like Loudwater or something like that, you'll be able to find stuff. But the more rare items, probably not. You'll probably have to go back to a major city to to find that kind of stuff. So. That's just a little forewarning for you guys. I mean, that's basically common sense anyway. So, Loudwater is definitely not going to have the array of shops as, say, a Waterdeep does, because there's more than one magic item shop in Waterdeep. There's a lot of magic item shots, shops. It just depends on what area of the city you're in, because there's five wards in the city. So, But if you guys want magic items... <clears throat> can we get it off of magicegg.com there? You can get whatever you want. Uh, and if you guys want to just, uh, through the week, you can just type in chat here. Well, I, I usually see you guys during a week anyway. Get with me ahead of time. I'll make the card for you, and I'll import it into a handout so you guys can have it right then and there. You know what I mean? So, but yes, yeah, so you can get magic items. And what are you what are you looking to get? Heavy? Hammers or flails? Well, you can get any hammer or flail that you desire. If it's, you know, whatever it's level, <laughs> whatever level, well, depends on, you know, it is basically full price. So on your handout, on your character sheet, you can see that when you click on magic items, it so will literally 
tell you how much the items cost. So a level 1 magic item is 360 gold. If you want to sell a magic item, it's 72 gold to the vendor. So, uh, that's Am I correct works. in assuming that these, if we take a level 2 for example, uh, that's a level 2 magic item without any spell cards attached to it. That's just a plus 2 to mm. hit and damage and whatnot. That, I'm not too sure on. I'm not too clear yeah, on that. Okay. So. that. That's correct. That's just a straight magic weapon, uh, a plus on the attack and on the damage. Okay. Okay, so what about there's no plus 30 items, there's up to plus 6. So why does it give you, you know, uh, a magic item value from 1 to, to level 30? You know what I mean? Hmm. So I, I can see where you're coming from, but I, I believe that it is, unless somebody can find it in the player's handbook. Since I'm the mute <clears throat> one, I can look it up while you continue to talk. That would, that would be awesome. But because if that's the case, then I'll just take this magic item price thing down and uh, we won't use it. All right, so if you tell me a name, you tell me what you want. Uh, I'll tell you if they have it or not. Which they probably uh, Loudwater. They'll have some plus. They'll have plus one stuff. I mean, that's probably what you're wanting to get anyway, right? Yeah, it's about about half of it. Yeah, if you're gonna, I mean, plus you have to take into consideration. There's different levels for magic items. Like take for the the horn of blasting. I believe there's a level five version, level ten, level fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. So, the higher version you want. That's where this chart comes into effect. Uh, so it's a thousand gold, or five thousand, or twenty-five, or one hundred twenty-five. So, what's up? One of the uh, first things I got here is if the item level is one to five, it's a plus one. Six to ten, it's plus two. Eleven, fifteen, plus three. So yeah, it's it's it has to be. Um, included the magical properties because otherwise why would you buy a level 10 weapon where you can buy a level 6 much cheaper with the same yeah. enchantment bonus. Exactly, that's, so that's there, what I was thinking. There is thinking. something wrong, so I'm looking into this. Yeah, I, th I think it's just level 1, well the property is 360. That's what I, I think it is. Because I, I was looking at that as well and, you know. Go forth. Because one through five is plus one, like you were saying, and that, you know weapons and items and all items only go to plus six anyway, and each item has a an enchantment for the plus. Like we'll say for one item here, uh, the enchantment is attack rolls and damage rolls. So the plus one, two, three, four, five, six goes to the attack rolls or damage rolls. So, and then if you critical, critical, it's a one d six per plus instead of you know weapon damage. So. But some some items have powers, some don't. I didn't see anything uh, pertaining to cost. If it had a an at will daily or a utility or a uh, you know encounter power, I, I didn't see anything on that. So I assumed it was just you know if you, you want a level five item, it was a thousand gold. Or if you love one that level thirty plus six sort of you know. Vorpal Longsword, then it's going to cost you 3.125 million gold. So, that's how I took it. Let's go kill a dragon, boys. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, right? Alright, would you, Mr. Godwin, have holy symbols here, or should I go see the the uh, temple? If, if you, uh, one more thing, if you find anything on that, though, uh, Crump, let me know, okay? <laughs> no, I'm keeping it to myself, because that will make the game so much better. <laughs> Yes, you will be the first to know. Okay, thanks. Alright. So you wanted maces and flails? Well, just whatever is in the, the player handbook or the adventurer's guide 1 or 2 or player handbook 2. I, I, there's like six books that has magic items. So there are literally thousands of magic items in, in 4th edition. I don't think we have just quite enough money for what I'm after right just yet, so we'll continue on. What level item are you looking for? Uh, it's a level 5 holy symbol. 
Whoa! Home, so I don't think we have enough at a thousand. Whoa! Why not pick a two since you have a uh, normal? It doesn't one. show me for the one you I mean, need. You mean you don't have enough? Now we pulled all our gold, and I said, "Hey, smash, you can get that." And we might have enough, but nah, I don't think I have enough just yet. No, we could pull all our gold together, and I'm sure we wouldn't have enough. Maybe we should see Zark about working on the docks. <laughs> or you could go talk to Lady Moonfire. You can, I mean, you're at Garwin's, you know, uh, Curiosities, Garwin's. I mean, there's all kinds of places. There's two taverns in town. There's there's all kinds of stuff. There's there's stars, knives. I mean, and there's there's everything. It's just up to you guys on where you want to go. You know, just because, <clears throat> uh, you know, Heavy had done a, a streetwise check, and he actually heard a few rumors that Zark was looking for some abled bodies, uh, some warm bodies to uh, unload some ships in the middle of the night, which I, you know, you want to do that? That's fine. I'm sure he'd probably pay you if you found them. Oh, I'm big and strong. I can unload ships. Well, well, I could not understand that. He said he's big and strong. He likes to pick shit up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd like to go talk to Fire Lady. So, for now, that's that's how uh, magic items will work. So, if you guys... And plus, you need to be level 5 to use that item anyway. So... Yeah, that's what I was... You know what I'm saying? I was, I was on it. <clears throat> so, during the week, you guys can do all the research you want on magic items and stuff. And let me know during the week. And like I said, I'll be more than happy to, to make those cards for you guys so we can put those on your handouts. So you don't have to type in all the stats and the powers and everything else. So, yeah, we can do that. I have no problem doing that at, whatsoever for you guys. Just uh, let me know during the week on what you want and we'll uh, we'll make it happen. All right, group, should we go talk to the Lady Moonfire and see if she's still in town? <laughs> what say you, Shamash? You guys yeah, go, go ahead to the old manor house. <laughs> yeah, I know. He comes up with all the great ideas on his own. As in Lady Moonfire, <laughs> Sounds good. Walker, uh, the leader of Loudwater. You go talk to her. Right, you go to the I'm manor gonna, house. Uh, I'm going to start skipping down the street. <laughs> well, as you guys are holding hands and skipping down the, the street, you make it to the manor house. Which is represented as number 16 on your map. Mm -hmm. And you are at the door. You've knocked. Her I'm One of her servants has answered. Yes? I was going to knock on the door. Yeah, uh, one of the servants answers and uh, recognizes you, and she asks you how your <laughs> how your adventure into the the Goblin King, well, the Ogre King lair went. And, she uh, says, and I oh, smack her no in the face. Adventure. <laughs> no such adventure. We don't know what you're talking about. We just got into town. <laughs> Move along. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> like Officer Bar Brady <laughs> from South Park. Move along. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> We want to see you, Fire Lady, please. Is she available? <laughs> yes, she is. So she goes and invites you in, and then she takes you to her, basically her office to where she's at, and, you know, she's sitting at a, a really nice uh, woodcrafted desk, and the servant walks out behind you and closes the door. I go in. And is there is there chairs across the table or the desk? There's uh there's several chairs around the the room. So yeah, you guys can pull them up. She tells you to pull a chair up to the desk, and everybody can you know sit around the the desk and chat. Hey, I'm gonna pull up a chair right <laughs> across from her, and I'm gonna sit down in it. She said, Ah, oh, so did you bring me uh my portion of the of the reward? My portion of the of our first adventure that we had, we had, you know, so graciously worked together to get. We gave it to her before we blew her up. Well, I thought that you guys uh, got gems and stuff out of that. Out of that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you got gems out of that chest as well, right? Yeah, we split it up and gave her the monetary value of everything. Okay. 
get straight gold. Yeah, just straight up gold. Okay. All right. So she got your money, lady. <laughs> she asked you what what she can do for you. She asked you if you're enjoying your your uh, stay here in Loudwater, and the citizens think very highly of you. People keep looking at me awkwardly, like I can't keep my hands in my pockets. <laughs> Is uh, there anything says, else you ah, can yes. tell us about the ritual that you performed that set free the djinn? Oh, she, that was just, uh, she tells you that that was basically just something that that she had been working on for several years, and she just kind of actually stumbled upon it. And she knew that there there had to be something with the, the way that the stones were, that you know, sort of like in a circle pattern, but she had no clue that there was going to be a, a a genie. She didn't. She had no clue that there was going to be a, a a magical game board appear or anything like that. She she really had no clue. But you know, uh, she eventually solved the the riddle, and 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 it is what it is. And the rest is you know you guys know the rest. So, but it, it was nothing that she you know had done. She had done a little bit of research on on the area within the woods, uh, but everything else she basically. Uh, figured out her on her own because all, all of that was written in Elvish anyway so we're going to relay the message to her about the supposed fiasco that we had <laughs> and uh, let her know that we don't have the totem anymore ah uh, yeah she says yeah I kind of I kind of heard about that and she goes kind of word kind of really? went around town oh yeah word you heard word, huh word travels fast around here Cool. So how's uh, how's everything else going? Oh, <laughs> wild water good one. Oh, everything's <laughs> going good. You know how it is. <laughs> no, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> uh, well, she she was wondering if if the party that there's an available sort of like a a suite on top of the pub on top of the Green Tankard Tavern, and she was wondering, seeing that you did you know help thwart the the goblin advanced on the town of Loudwater, and you did make him retreat, even though you failed miserably in uh, stopping the the resurrection of the Ogre King. Uh, she said that uh, miserable's a harsh word, lady. <laughs> 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 but anyway, I just like to, a strategic retreat is more <clears throat> what I like to say. Ah, uh, very well. That's what they all say. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, of course. So. I have a proposition for you. She tells you that there is a a vacant property uh, above the Green Tankard Tavern, and if the party does desire this, that they can have it, and the actual town will take care of the bill for this, and it will be a basically a a place of establishment that the party can have, meaning uh, sort of like a room. Corporate. Uh no, nothing nothing like that, but <laughs> no, this is no this is sort of like uh it speaking out of character, it's gonna be a an inn that I'm gonna create and you guys can you guys over time will be able to purchase things for for the place to kind of decorate it up. So you guys won't you guys will have more than just you know the storyboard that we have here. You guys will be able to buy chests, put your chests in there, store stuff in there. Uh, of course, I mean you are going to have to pay for, you know, I guess you could say extra security, so you know, shit just doesn't get stolen because you know just. just I know think. a guy. His name is Lord Humongous. We could get the. Get the <laughs> <laughs> nice. We don't have personally. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, if you guys wanted to do that, uh, you'll be able to, you know, put some chests in there. Uh, you'll be able to store your your currency. But just think, just think. It, it, she says, thankfully, it's not on top of the Fisher's Friend Pub because that place <laughs> is full of undesirables. <laughs> so, so yeah, she said that My she will, <sighs> she will take care of the, the, the town will take care of the tab for you, uh, on the actual. I guess you could call it like a, a room suite. and board. Yeah, she will take or care just of the that. room. No, she's going to take care of the the payment for you know keeping it for you for a year, two years, however long you desire to stay here and make this your base of central operation, basically. 
We got a home, guys. I've never had a so home how before. goes the uh, repairs on the wall? Oh, we've already taken care of that. Uh, and you know, and as you pass by, uh, there were some, there were a couple, you know, mortars up, and some there were people plastering the wall. Uh, but it, it seems like it's it's damn near repaired. It's been several, probably about two weeks since since that happened, anyway. So it was quick, uh, quick to be repaired. Well, right on, guys. You guys look like y'all are doing pretty well. Yeah, loud. And uh, loud water's a great town. I don't, really don't want to speak for everybody in the party, but I think uh, I would like that place to hang my hat and not have to pay for it. Yeah, it's a, uh, it'll be a, I think it's a one, two, three, it's either like a three or four room place, so uh, I'll get that get, I'll get that up for you guys uh, probably tonight after the game, and then you guys can take a look at it and uh, do whatever you want with it, so... Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, Fire Lady. I appreciate it. No, that's she says that's just a, a token of our appreciation. I'd like to pull out a banana sticker and offer it as a gratification. Wow. Oh, she says thank you. She winks at you. <gasps> well Alcine winks. <laughs> so is there any other business that uh that you need my assistance with? We can get Dirk's friend Bonnie to be the voice of Lady Moonfire. What's <laughs> that big dirt? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've taken up enough of your time. Tom and Luke's, Yeah, that's what I figured, Zavin. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the room there. down the hall. Just walk down the hall, go into the room on your left, and you can use the bathroom. <laughs> Thank the you. There's a, it's not so there's, <laughs> there's a hole there, right? <laughs> Just make sure you put the gosh darn seat back down. That she doesn't. Promises. She doesn't yeah, go in there in the middle of the plant. night. Well, <laughs> as he walks through the hall, plonks his head on the freaking rafters of the door. All right. I will <laughs> follow him and cover his back. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Fire Lady, Miss I think Fire we'll Lady, of your time we shall be <clears throat> on. All right. When we leave there, uh, uh, I'm, I'm Shamash. A Go ahead. When we leave there, Shamash is uh, going to head over to the temple. Okay, and on your way out. Uh, Lady Moonfire does tell you that she will uh, let Marsh Laval know uh, that you will be taking the uh, suite at the top of the Green Tanker Tavern and they will have it ready for you. Uh, here I would like to uh, David, I yes. looked through pretty much everything in the first player handbook mm -hmm. and if unless there's something in the other handbooks uh, the pricing makes no sense other than that the actual cards that exist, let's say there's a weapon called Dragon Slayer weapon, uh, that has a set price and you can't change that. And when you buy it, you get the powers included in that price. But you can name the Dragon Slayer weapon like Elsine's Butt Scratcher or something. Nice. Um, butt Scratcher! But, but the card is a Dragon Slayer weapon thing. Okay. But you, yeah, so you have to go by those cards to pick prices. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know that because we'll take uh, for like the Gauntlets of Ogre Power, that's a level 5 item. That's going to cost you the 1,000 gold like uh, because that's the only thing that it is level 5. Now, yep. we'll take for instance the Communal Longsword. It can be any type of melee weapon. There's a level 4 version, level 9 version, 14 version, level 19, 24, and 29. So whatever version you want, say if you want the level 9 version, you have to be level 9 to use it. It's plus 2, no. and it's 4,200 gold. It's actually said that you are, if you are below the level, it gave an example that if you're level 10 and find a level 20 weapon, you can use it to its full extent. That doesn't make any sense. No, well, I'm not making this up. <laughs> Anyways, enough of this. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I mean, if push just comes to, sh to shove, I mean, I'll, well, I'll make a decision on something, so... Yeah, but, but we'll, we, yeah. we'll figure it out. Because, I mean, why why do you have level 1 through 30? I understand level 1 through 5 is for plus 1, 6 to, you know, 10 is for 2, so I get that. Why don't you just have three prices for six prices for magic items instead of 30 prices for levels 1 through 30. That just because doesn't make fourth. any hey. Yeah. Uh, and there and we're hey. five of the 20 people that are playing the game, so <laughs> I'd like to uh yeah, Venom. on my way out of this room I'd like to turn around and say the next time you decide to go out into the forest for one of your quote adventures, you let me know. <laughs> Whoa. As you wink and turn around, right, and leave? No, just some general concern. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wink. She, uh, and then, yes, I'll wink and turn around, and when I turn around, I'm going to, like, she shake says, my butt to the left just a little bit so she gets a good look at it. I'll let you know the next time I go out on a solo adventure. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, 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 <laughs> wink, wink. And then I will, and I will very gracefully bow. And uh, put a banana sticker. Oh, where the hell did all these manners come from, Mr. Rogue? You go from stealing, stealing fifty foot of hemp rope to bowing to a. Oh, it's a Maybe woman. Ah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Shadow? Good to see you, man. All right, all right so off to the temple, fellas. That's some role playing. I really don't want to get into today. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to. So we'll just kind of pull. You got a roll for <laughs> you gotta roll for penetration or what? <laughs> it's a critical. Yeah. <laughs> critical fumble. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Wow. Had to bring the party down. Thank you, Buzz Killington. All right. So you're at the temple. Brother Griffin is at the temple. What's up, brother man? I'm not your brother. <laughs> brother from another mother. Can we get a healing? Right. Healing, we're healed. Well, healed, my son. He means an emotional healing. Yes, an emotional heal. There you go. That's what I was coming at. He wants an emotional healing because we were all like dead. But we need Jerry Springer, man. That I'm so cool. glad I didn't walk into that light. So he and looks at Grandma he looks at you, Batiste, and he asks you if uh if everything is going well. Your healing water is worth crap. <laughs> ha! <laughs> it was yeah, well, if I could actually hit, I might have found out the uh, actual <laughs> effect, but I couldn't hit throw that with a ten foot pole in my hand. Is it the water or the, oh, user the, the, the whole, water that's the crap. holy water, not the healing water? Yeah, the holy water, yes. <laughs> Yes, if you'd have hit your target, it might have been different. With it, didn't I? <laughs> no, you didn't. You, you, it smashed on the ground. Your, uh, your memory fails you <laughs> because you missed well, it's that been attack. Two weeks ago, man. Come on. Uh, it's been, it's it's been a week. Side of a bard. <laughs> uh, he says, "Is there a, is there a problem with the, the deity that we? Maybe that's something that you should bring up with our deity." <laughs> he gets needs a plus one to aim. I, I don't dude. think uh, I don't think Cord is going to appreciate this. You may want to recant that statement. <laughs> Shamash is just going to grin at the teeth and say, "You may want to spend some time in uh, meditation before we leave." Confessional. You may want to do ten Hail Marys and a couple push-ups <laughs> to chase it down with. <laughs> And a little kid comes running oh, out of the car. Easy! I didn't do it! I didn't say it! <laughs> send all your hate mail. Oh, man. Send all your hate mail to, to Evan. No way, dude. I'm giving out his real name on that. Because here we go. I'm going to get like anyway, 300 sh hateful <laughs> priests from the Catholics Shemash. in the channel. Shamash <laughs> is going to pull the ring out and uh, ask him if he could... Uh, Possibly check to see what type of magic is on it. Hmm. He says this could take a little bit of research. He goes, I haven't seen anything of this nature, but if you leave it with me, I could probably tell you if you give me several days to 
to pawn it over. And I will also uh, have a, a few of the other priests and clerics here at the temple look at it as well. I would appreciate that, and I will make a donation to the temple. Oh, very good. We don't like the kind that clings. We like the kind that folds. <laughs>